My name is Landy Thompson. I'm the CEO of Inner Streets Inc., youth advocacy organization in the District of Columbia. Inner Streets Inc. got started with myself, Mr. Andre Papa Lattimore, and Miss Elizabeth Parker, a friend of ours named Angel. We saw it was a need for change in Northwest Washington, D.C., where a lot of kids that were out in the street at risk. So we decided to develop positive programming in order to get them off the streets and change their lives around. There's many challenges that kids face in the streets, which are um, teen pregnancy, um, shooting, gangs, uh, rape, uh, drugs, uh, not, their families not being there, their parents getting locked up, their brothers and sisters doing something, chilling at the block, getting locked up as well. You know, not having a mentor to be there for them. And it's just like, we have to grow up so quickly that we think we know it all. And it's like, it's not like that because we don't know how it is to live in the world until you work hard for it, until you see it. And then like, they, they try to change it, but it's, it's, sometimes it's too late because they probably locked up, killed or in the hospital. The thing I like most about industries is the radio program that we do. Um, we have a radio uh, section that we do every week and we have we talk about violence um, things that are going on in DC and the area and how we can prevent it and there's a poetry section and we do commercials and you know stuff like that so that's like my favorite part the program started out with just a few volunteers addressing the average people that were out on the street corners those that nobody seemed to care about we went to ANC meetings in the community mayor's office meetings along with just basic meetings on the corner with crews and gangs. In that scenario, we decided we would put together a profile and a program format for a summer youth employment program, which we were granted by Pro Urban Youth and Councilman Jim Graham. After that, it seemed like it was constantly always building to try to be better than the next program, to give our kids a little more from museums, to music appreciation, to a go-go band. This is highly respected band. We want y'all to show us love and support to outreach support services for other programs in Washington that's following their If you have a problem in the streets and you want to solve it, you're always welcome to come join. There's not, there's no beef here, there's no, I want to fight this person, I want to get back at that person, there's none of that here. Like, we all come together. When we don't, we, when we first met, we didn't know no one. We didn't know who, you, who was who, who was what, because I'm not from uptown, I'm from Southeast, so I didn't know no one from here at all, except for like two people. But I end up meeting everybody, I end up getting close to everybody, and we end up, you know what I'm saying, being able to talk to each other with no hesitations, with no bass in our voice. We've been able to just to rap to each other. Like, it's just a family because, you know what I'm saying, no drama, no trouble. I started coming uptown because I live in Southeast. I started coming uptown and I was in a program. A lot of the stuff changed. Like, the, one of the boys that do live in my block come to the same program come here and we don't even have no beef no more. We talk, you know, over the situation that did happen in the past and we let it go. So now we we cool, like it's no it's no real problem. And when we go meet other people, most people, if you see them, you probably be like, oh, I don't like them because of the way they act. But if you actually sit down and talk to them, I met a couple of people from the outreach that we did. I found out other people write poetry just like me. And we became cool just off the of simple fact that we both do something. We all both have something in common. Well, Squash and Beef is basically like, it's like slang for like hoods, different hoods like CTU or Wall. Like if they were like going at it, like Squash and Beef is like, we don't want to go at it. We need to all come together and talk, work it through while we beefing. Bas basically, is never any reason for them to be beefing. They just be over, it'd it be over nothing. It could be over like a bottle of soda. We, and then next thing you know, we killing each other. CTU killing Waller, something like that. And we don't want that to happen. So we come together as a community to help stuff like this stop. Well, I know one thing, there's kids all over the city that want to be in this program. But the kids we have, they're special kids. They're like my family, some nieces, some nephews, some brothers, some sisters. And it's just people that come together for the good of the community. And the one thing I do know about our kids, they just down for the struggle. A person just recently told him, you should have known when you got with Landy it was going to be political. Because everything I feel that kids should get, I'm an advocate for you. So I'm definitely in there for corner. Over this past year, I done lost over 20 friends to gang violence. Most have been shot, some have been beaten to death. It's, it's just been a lot going on. 
Some of the challenges we currently face are during the summer months we have a home where the Boys Club has allowed us access, Parents Association uh, allowed us to have a program in their building for the summer. In order for Industry Inc. to grow and spread out, we need national volunteers and organizations such as Clark Construction, NBA players, NFL players, baseball players to come together because the program takes money. It takes money to run. If we had our own building, we'd be able to provide more things for GED training, after school programs, uh, more things to deal with mentoring and outreach. It's just our own facility. Once you have your own facility, you can do so much more because you can bring people into your own fold. But by you being in other buildings, a lot of times you're limited to the accessibility of a building because a lot of crime in D.C. happens after midnight. So we want to bring programs during the summer months to go up to that point and try to bring kids in to do things out of town, to like take them skiing or to take them boating, some things that inner city kids don't normally get a chance to do. That's what we put on our program format, like going to see the color purple or traveling downtown to the White House, just different cultural things, like going to the Civil War Museum, bringing HIV programming in, bringing in mentors from George Washington University for the RISE program. It's just so many things, the like HIV pregnancy program. Uh, it's just, the, the possibilities are endless. I know a lot of people have got killed just by their clothes alone. People have killed somebody over North Face, New Balance, Nike boots. I mean, it's just ungratefulness and just enviness disrespectfulness, people have got shot and over just a plain disrespect. You say something wrong to me, you get, you get shot. It's just a lot of ongoing, unnecessary violence that we don't need. If you can talk it out, then maybe you can solve a problem. You don't need to go around killing someone just for their clothes. Like we get to know each other in a brief little questions or a moment in five seconds, five minutes. So it's like, at least it's five minutes, but you know that person, you're gonna remember that person. So it's like if you go down the block and you think you have beef, you know, you know that at least one person from that block. So you won't, ha you, you won't have no problems. So we go out and you know try to introduce ourselves, try to meet new people, try to make new contacts and stuff like that, so we can squash beef and we can stop violence in D.C. Right now in D.C., hopefully it's worldwide soon. My name is Landy Thompson. I'm the CEO of In The Streets, Inc. A lot of people seem to think when you say In The Streets, Inc., you're just talking about me. But with all actuality, I'm talking about my conglomerate. One, one mission, mission, one vision, one goal. We are the community.